your kundalini is blossoming. It's the best way I can ex describe what I see in front of me because kundalini isn't just about, you know, sex, but it is about a physical manifestation, putting your energy and power in uh, the body and how can the body help to open us up and explore and understand different things. <clears throat> um, our own power to transform our lives by opening our bodies to new experiences so pisces this is a time for you to really just open yourself up and take a leap of faith in something that you don't have a lot of control over to begin with so there's a sense of like casting it over and handing it over to god there's also um a sense of voyeurism a sense of seeing something that you want of real attraction between you and somebody else um uh covetousness uh sensuality peeking in voyeurism absolutely but but it's it's paired with a sense of an awakening that's happening inside of yourself and at first it might have seemed a little bit taboo at first it may have seemed like it's a it's a removal from tradition it's like you're getting away from tradition away from what you normally felt comfortable with and maybe you know maybe there is a, a little sense of your family would not have approved but this is a sense of it's not about your family or moving past um hold on thanks so it is about It's almost like this is the conduit through which you're going to be changing your life. So it's more about the experience as an understanding, an undertaking of transition for you and what you need in your life to be real, right? Changing things up, shaking things up, not just for the thrill. No, no, no. It's more about the education and learning and letting yourself be, if you will, stretched, broadened, opened up, um, healed in many senses of the word, because there is that sense of there could have been some conflict and now there's liberation from that conflict. Um, really being able to take this new bit of information, this, it's, it's like, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's hard for me is it, it's sexual liberation. It's using sex or, um, I feel like it's an untraditional form of sex. I feel like it's, um, erotic letters or suggestive communications that's going on between the two of you, maybe even watching them and somebody else partake in something. This is real, like, not necessarily taboo, but it's definitely not traditional. And it's um, maybe something that you always frowned upon before, but you've reached a point in your life when you really need to push your own boundaries. And that's why I'm saying it's about a broadening and expanding and your own liberation, liberating yourself from any kind of... Um, confines, restrictions, judgments that you've had in the past. It's about pushing those boundaries and opening yourself up wide. You're not throwing yourself in. You have been acclimated step by step to this communications. I think that you're respecting somebody's boundaries and they're respecting yours. You're respecting each other. And that's why there's this sense of being able to open yourself up step by step, taking one step at a time. You know, it's, it's like, it's like little by little, um, you're able to open up, like let in at least maybe you're in just the discussion mode right now within your relationship but you're at least able to open yourself up to a new perspective a new point of view this is once again also a sense of watching 
opening up the windows so somebody can watch you or opening up the windows so you can look out and see what's out there. Broadening and expanding. Either way, there's a portal that's been opened that is enticing. But you don't have to rush through it. You know, um, there is this a uh, little bit of, there is faith involved here. Um, it's like you're, know, you're knowing that you're entering, seeing very clearly you're entering into a, a, sit a situation that you cannot control. And maybe that's one of the things is relinquishing control, letting go of the need to control everything. Um, this is definitely wanting something, desiring something, N needing it, not being able to take your eyes off of it, but sort of hiding your interest in it. So it could very well be not that you're hiding your true intentions, but you haven't really, it could be like, this is how you're approaching the concept. This is how you're approaching the idea. You know, you're, you're just kind of like, well, what is it about? I, I want to learn more. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're full on into any kind of explicit sexual act or behavior, or if this is even about sex, but I do this, there's something sensuous, sensual and visceral about this experience. So it is definitely something that somehow arouses you, whether it's arouse your spirit, arouse your heart or arousal through the genitals. And I do think that's partially it, at least part of it. There is just this sense of being enticed to know and learn more. This is why I say Kundalini, because there's meditation here. There is opening up those chakras through passion, through like self-exploration, through the connection, your connection with somebody else, learning how to love in a different way, love a different kind of person, share yourself in a different way, is broadening and expanding who you are. So there is this sense of really feeling like there's self-growth here and also becoming alive, being connected in a way that you were not able to connect or realize things about other people or yourself through other people, um, and changing your world, realizing that you are the universe, the, the universe, you're a reflection of the universe. Your eyes are what the universe sees through to, it's like the universe is living in you and it's experiencing everything through your own unique experiences that you know you're not separate from the universe you are actually it you know experiencing life through your unique perspective and so you're conducting yourself to explore and expand your perspective so that you can add to the universe maybe even add to something that you're creating this is all part of creation in Pisces. I know that you love to create. So there is a sense of really broadening your idea of what is good for you, changing it in some ways to allow yourself to be happy in a circumstance that at one point maybe made you feel uncomfortable or you thought, I might want to turn back from this. I'm, I might not want to do this. This looks like uh, it look it looks big. You know, but this is definitely, there's a long road ahead, but it's a journey that excites you. You want to get to the top of that mountain. You, you want to see maybe what's on the other side. And you know, you, the reason why you're doing this, and this is what's so beautiful about mountain. The reason why you're doing this is because you know, the challenge is going to change you and you want the change. You want the difference. You don't, after this journey, and it's, this is a beautiful energy. It's not a negative energy at all. It's not destructive. This is a sense of going on a journey, going on a pilgrimage, challenging yourself to improve yourself, to build yourself up. So it's like you are definitely, the enticement here is the challenge. The enticement here is that long road that you know is going to be a struggle. And you're going to meet parts of yourself on this trip that there's no way you could have met anywhere else. There's also a sense of there might be, like I said, a lot of distance between you. 
you have foreign communications, traveling foreign, um, um, going overseas, communications about traveling or communications from abroad. There is that sense of long distance communications here and long distance communications that are very sensual in nature, very opening up, very broadening, very expansive, very sensual innocent though this is a this is an innocent sensuality letters coming from abroad that really arouse you turn you on um or learning about uh i'm sorry my neck is bothering me i apologize learning about distant learning about so something that's foreign to you to expand your perspective and really open yourself up to um, feeling a different kind of comfort, feeling more comfortable or changing how you feel, opening yourself up to broadening and expanding this sort of sensual perspective, liberating yourself sexually, essentially, uh, even though it may break from what you traditionally experienced, what you felt comfortable with and what other people feel comfortable with. But there's a sense of challenging this tradition broadening it and expanding it sorry i want to get this off for you broadening and expanding your tradition your set of traditions through learning through personal growth through personal development through once again some sort of written communication or um i mean i mean it could be the freaking karma sutra for all i know but there's a sense of allowing yourself to be broadened and expanded through education and maybe a non-traditional form of education that you are engaging in. And I say you are the bravest souls on earth, Pisces, opening yourself up to opening yourself up to these these experiences to open yourself up to broaden your life experience. This is a whole level of there. Of courage there's a whole level of courage here there's also a level of trust here there's trusting yourself knowing yourself knowing that you have a right to this there's a sense of you need this liberation you need this freedom you need to take this control back um, um, maybe from what had blocked you in or limited you um, there's also a sense of you know honoring the fact that you are really curious about this stuff and so you want to try. I think this is a normal part of your character and something that you are nurturing and loving and allowing it to grow. Something that is not, once again, it's non-traditional. Um, this is also a sense, I'm going to say this, of um, phone sex or Skype sex or, you know, that that kind of non-traditional interaction and growing, growing and broadening your understanding of how to share yourself as well as share in somebody else that is at a distance from you. Hot damn! damn. All right, let's see what let's see what's in the primary reading. Ooh, okay. All right. I understand that. The card that got flipped over was a really interesting card for this reading, and it is set healthy boundaries. And there, I don't think this is a warning. I think this is part of your education. This is like putting yourself in this situation is helping you understand. Uh, it's in, in, a, in a sensual, almost psychic, emotional, intuitive way. The only way that you can really communicate. That's that's how you are, right, Pisces? There is a sense of you always struggle to set boundaries. You always have struggled to assert yourself and do what's right for you. This kind of sensuality, this kind of learning, that's why you're learning it. That's why you're allowing yourself to be exposed to it so that you can learn how to set boundaries that feel healthy and good for you so that you take control of where you want to be and who you want to be with so that you are um, um, allowing yourself through this very sensual, erotic pleasure or experience giving yourself permission to ask for things that you want and refuse things that you do not. And you've given yourself permission because normally you probably 
um, would not give yourself that permission. You'd let somebody else choose the boundaries or basically piss all over you. And this is your sense of, this is your conduit, your comfort zone of, I won't allow this or I will allow this. Um, this is also a sense of healing, of getting back your control. Maybe somebody back in your past took control from you through some sort of trauma. Um, and there is this sense of you finally being able to open up or find somebody to open up to that will enable you to address that trauma and take back your control. So this is also very much like Kundalini. It's healing. It's purging the demons. It's getting them out of your system and using that energy to generate healing and heat and health to help yourself um, be get, uh, heal, to help yourself heal. Time for a beginner mind and clear out the clutter. Holy shit. So this is Aquarius energy and it's definitely like I'm new here. Um, you're a little bit still, in other words, still tentative. Uh, this is a Cancerian energy. There is a sense of getting rid of old baggage that you don't need, that you've been carrying around for too long, maybe belief systems or emotions, especially since this is Cancerian energy, emotions or experiences that you've allowed to uh, weigh you down. So this is a sense of broadening and opening your yourself up to something like trying to have a beginner mind trying to open your mind to unusual unpractical not normal like think you, you know think uranus energy because it's aquarian energy this this sense of the non-traditional the eclectic the outside the ordinary the unexpected but there is still a sense of mm, remaining a little bit um you know, maybe, maybe a little bit hesitant still right now. Um, learn from the past. So you come in this circumstance experienced and not in a position where you're going to get bowled over. You might bowl somebody else over. So Pisces, there is a sense of you now know what you want. Um, there have been so many different situations in your past that have disappointed you and hurt you. This is you asserting yourself. It's you asserting your confidence in what you know and, and what you've discovered through all of your pain, through all of the suffering. This is recalling all of that to give you strength and let you know and give yourself, almost give yourself permission to be happy in this way. Um, this is also a sense of maybe letting go and being able to forgive some sort of patriarchal or matriarchal figure in your life that you did do something that absolutely hurt you. But in a sense, you doing these things is taking back the power that they took from you um, when they um, sort of steamrolled you in some way, whatever the circumstance was. This is the miracles are endless. So there's so much bountifulness coming to you. Um, holiness, divinity, this is really a connection to spirit and the gods. In other words, this is a good, it's a chosen path for you. It's a, it's a, it's going to yield a lot of abundance for you. Um, um, you've made the right choice. You've made the right selection. Um, this is also Taurus energy, so it could have to do with Venus, um, uh, sensuality, sexuality, um, yeah, bountifulness, uh, opening, like literally, um, um, there's a lot of sensuality in your life right now. You really love that feeling <laughs> and you're actually learning all that using all the things that you've learned in the past of what works for you and what doesn't to make this an even more exceptional experience for you. Uh, use your mind wisely. Okay. So when pigs fly stuff that you thought you would never do, like literally this is you overcoming the impossible. Um, this is also you in some ways overcoming the limits that were in your mind and broadening and expanding and developing your mind. But it's literally for me, this is with all these other cards, you thought that this would never be possible. 
Like none of this would you have bet on, right? There is just this sense, but it's a sense of allowing yourself to engage in what beforehand you thought would have been impossible. But there's some sort of abundance that's come into your life. There's a lot of Taurus energy, Earth energy. Maybe it's an Earth sign. Uh, maybe it doesn't matter if it's an Earth sign or not. What matters is there is a change. There is a physical change or a change through physicality. There is so much abundance that's coming in your life that is a divergence from what you've experienced in the past. But it's it's like you're 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 not you're not just getting lucky here. <laughs> you know, you're, you're, um, you're driving this. It's you that is sort of like, a, like, like allowing the change to come into your life because of what you've learned and experienced. It's like every, all the old choices that I made, they didn't work out for me. This is a new choice. This is a new direction. I need to go. I need to try because there's so much I could learn here sing your own song this is gemini energy i don't know if you're dealing with a gemini but whoever you're dealing with this is somebody who allows you to be yourself this is some this is this is a situation or a circumstance where you are just allowing you to be you and have confidence in that and not question that you know it's like you're doing you and maybe there is a little bit of masturbation involved, but it's not literal. It's about finding harmony in yourself, singing your own song. Hold on a second. I know it wasn't a second for you, but I had to plug in the charger because it was about to it was about to fade. I love that this card came out, that this was like the final message. This is a sense of really you being true to yourself um, and feeling comfortable enough to do it. And, and not asking for permission or asking for forgiveness. You're not asking at all. You're just allowing yourself. And there's such a sense of harmony and happiness that's coming through for you guys when you take this uh, part of your life, aspect of your life, uh, under your own control. So Pisces looking for an answer or looking for a solution, it could very well come through your sense of sensuality. As long as you're liberating yourself and not condemning yourself to once again mold yourself to what somebody else needs, that would once again be self-abusive and traumatic. What are your angel and spirit card messages? What do they have to say? to you for you yes there is an extended reading 100 percent pisces we will get into specifics over in tarot that link is below but please hang around for um the spirit and angel guide messages these are lovely um messages and they have their own voice so let's see if you're interested and it appeals to you to hear what the spirit guides have to say oh there we go there we go. Yep. So this, I can tell you right now, it's something that you prayed for. It's something that you asked the angels, the spirit. It used your um, spirituality to manifest it. Because uh, it's saying right here, prayer. No matter how difficult the situation may seem, all is possible. Ask, we are listening. So there's a connection to God, the divine. Um, um, there might be conflict inside your soul. Be honest. In other words, this is a safety zone. This is what spirit wants you to know. You are in a safe zone. Whatever you ask for, you're going to receive, or at least receive an answer to. Talk to us, talk to us openly, talk to us freely. Liberate what is kind of like stuck in, in you. Liberate your voice, use your voice and ask because you will not be made fun of. This is a new safety zone. Healing. I, the angel of healing, am with you right now. Feel my presence and my unwavering love for you. I have loved you before the dawn of time and I will love you for all eternity. eternity. This, is this is like unconditional love. You don't have to feel shamed. You don't have to feel ugly. There's nothing that you have to hide here. 
talk to us openly. This is once again, I'm, I'm feeling it all around you, Pisces, you being in a safe space. You finally feeling like you're like, like dancing in your own living room. There's a sense of being able to be you out loud. You know that you're in a same safe space and the angels are confirming you're in a safe space. You don't have to hurt anymore. And this is part of your healing process, us giving you the safe space to love yourself again. Kindness. A kind gesture rekindles your belief in the power of love. Remember to be kind to yourself. So somebody else set this in motion. Um, this, this love, this unconditional acceptance of who you are kind of stirred something inside of you that said, well, why don't I love me that way? You know, so it is this relationship in the safe space that is enabling you to love yourself better and treat yourself better. Sacred source. We, your angels, are here to remind you of your magnificence. You are literally an angel in the making, a being of eternal love and light, forever one with God, goddess, and all creation. This is you connecting back to that real love, that true love. In other words, it's you being able to connect back to that person you were before you were harmed, before you were injured. This is it. Now you have been working on healing this whole time. This is your breakthrough moment. This is actually when you feel that reconnection to, remember, reconnecting to yourself is reconnecting to God. It is reconnecting to source. It is that that healing is healing that severance that you had between you and yourself because you didn't like yourself, because you felt ugly. And this is you loving who you are again and knowing that you have rights and knowing that you have a say in things and feeling, you know, in control of your space and valued for who you are. Oh, wow. Sacred knowledge is here too. Close your eyes. And focus on your breath. Feel the peace within. Beyond your thoughts lies your eternal truth. The I am presence of eternal love. So anytime you feel your mind racing or you think you're overthinking, quiet your mind through your breath. Because there is a sense of now you've tapped into source. Source is always there to give you this knowledge. And the knowledge is it's your breath. All you have to do is connect through your breath to silence your mind and whatever you need to know, you'll be given, you'll be given the answer to kindness. We already read this, but this is important. A kind gesture rekindles your, some like rekindles your belief in the power of love. It's just, um, this is, this is beautiful energy. Remember to be kind to yourself. Somebody treating you right and respecting your boundaries reminded you to respect your own. Ooh, that's so beautiful. Miracle. Oh my God. Okay, our wings of light surround you and those you love. This current situation is governed by a higher power. The forces of love are at work and all will turn out well. Somebody prayed for you or you prayed for yourself and these prayers have been answered with the miracle, the thing that you needed to guide you back to serenity. And that was kindness from somebody else. You know, sometimes we can't give it to ourselves. Divine intervention. Oh, shit. You may feel frustrated because something stalls or comes to a standstill. Progress seems painfully slow. Yet this is a blessing. It is divine intervention at work. When the timing is in perfect harmony, all will come to fruition. So this is you literally just engage in the moment. Appreciate what this is for what it is right now. God is coming out to the rescue. He's pointing you in that right direction believe me you are in other words you're in the right place right now let's go see what tarot has to say um there's a more juiciness here i know it um if you feel like you're in a situation like there's a little bit of frustration like maybe this isn't enough it's for now it's not your forever it's for now i'll see you guys in the uh, 
I'll see you guys in the extended. The link is below.